Teach the high frequency word the and the end. You can say the and you can say the, but it's always spelled T-H-E. Now you've got to feel the rhythm to make this memorable. The rhythms of sound have a powerful effect on cognition. Try this with me. Clap, clap, stomp. Clap, clap, stomp. You can say the and you can say the, but it's always spelled T-H-E. Then we teach T-H-E-E-N-D, the end, the end. And we expect children to start writing the end on the last pages of their little book. Julie Lay's kindergartners were excited to perform the read and sing book, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, for me. They read the page, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, I love you. And at the very end, they jumped up and chanted, T-H-E-E-N-D, the end. Do it again. T-H-E-E-N-D, the end. And then Julie used sign language to ask them to sit back down, and they all collapsed onto the floor with proud grin. Thoughtful teachers keep adding layers of excellence to our work. Kindergarten authors and illustrators decorate their end page. Children produce unique and creative work, and you may not find this in your average teacher's guide. These young illustrators love to fancy up their end pages. We gave you some kindergarten exemplars to share with your students to inspire them to play with those words, the end, two free words.